Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Another beautiful morning here in Southwest Florida. 77 degrees right now. Look how calm that golf is. Look how flat it is out there. Incredible. Well, when I was coming down the road here, heading into the park, the two big warning signs, they have these big flashing signs before you get to the park. And they have said red tide present for almost the past month. And guess what? The warning has been taken down. Oop, get that adjusted. There is no red tide warning in effect here. That doesn't mean it won't come back or that it's, it's all it's lurking just offshore here out in the Gulf, but it's not at the beach is what it means here. No red tide present at the beach here. You can take nice deep breaths without coughing, without my eyes burning. Talking to the ranger at the front gate, he said there were people out here all day yesterday swimming. I don't see any fish, dead fish out here in the water. The water is nice and clear right now. This particular area, particular area that I'm at though, there's a lot of these are all old tree roots out here. Where the beach used to be, that's why it's that brown color. There's a big flounder. Look at that, that's a big flounder swimming by. You see that fish? Did you see that swim by? That was a flounder. Great, great to see signs of life out here. That was a big flounder that just went swimming by. I didn't see it when it was in the sand. They, blunt, they kind of camouflaged themselves. As soon as he got into that dark stuff, he saw the flounder go by. So the fish are coming back. That's a great sign. All good news. Unfortunately, there are some remnants of old rotting fish still up on the beach, mostly skeletons. They've been cleaned up for the most part, but well, it was so neat to see that flounder swim by. I saw yesterday one of our friends, Justine, she found some nice shells up here on the beach yesterday morning. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some ourselves as we walk north here. We're in North Naples, Florida at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park on a beautiful Saturday morning. The tide is just starting to go out. Low tide is around 12.15. 12.15 this afternoon, so we got a ways before that tide goes out. So, maybe we'll find some shells, maybe not. Low tide's the best time for shelling, but we'll see what happens today. Keep our fingers crossed. I'm more excited about seeing some marine life out here. Wonder if all those blue crabs are gonna are still up at the north end of the park. The last time I was out here, there were just a ton of blue crabs up in area five. I 
There goes some pelicans. I don't know if you can see them out there. Three pelicans flying by. Haven't seen those in a while. So now the pelicans are back. When the pelicans are here, that means there's fish out there in the water. Another good sign. Okay, where's our osprey? We need to see our osprey sitting up in one of these trees. I don't hear him yet, him or her. We'll probably see one on the way back here. I wonder if our dolphins have come back yet. Ah, oh, I hear an osprey. Can you hear it calling out? Where is he? He's over here in this pine tree in the center of the screen, I believe. Sometimes they're really hard to find up there. I just heard him calling out. Oh, I see him. He's in the tree back there. See if it stays up there. Nope, oh, it's taking off. It's gonna fly right over top of me. Here he comes. There he goes. It's going down to the, oh darn it. Back down to where we started. <laughs> Go figure. Another great sign though. Another great sign, seeing an osprey. We saw pelicans. We saw an osprey. That's all a good sign. That means there's life out here. There's fish out here in the water. And again, the warning signs, the red tide warning, the signs that say red tide present were not on this morning or yesterday at the entrance to the park. still dark here. We're still in the shadows here of the trees, but you can see it's pretty nice and it's really clear right now. As soon as that sun pops up, pops up over the trees, we'll get a much better look at the water. I'm in area three right now. We started down in area two. There's a, some blue crabs right out here running around, those two little black spots. There was a couple of them right here. So the crabs are here. Some nice big blue crabs at that. There's another one, that little dark spot right out there. Can't get close to them. They take off. That little dark spot, that's a blue crab right there. So nice, so nice to see life again out here in the water. How long will it last? That's the million dollar question. All it takes is a big onshore breeze to blow that darn red tide back, back at us. Right now it's looking pretty darn good out here. It's actually looking really nice out here. I would love to see a dolphin or two. I miss those dolphins.
gorgeous. Look at that water. This is the nicest it's been in quite a while. Still quiet here. I almost have the place to myself. I see, oh, maybe half a dozen people way down at the south end of the park, down in area one. I see one person walking down the beach towards me up here. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about our friend Roy. Well, there's not really a whole lot to say, a whole lot to report. He is slowly recovering. That's the good news. He's got a really big hole in his leg, which I shared and showed everybody. I thought it was time they saw what was really going on there. Hopefully that'll heal. It's healing very slowly. But for all intents and purposes, Roy is on the mend, thankfully. Just keep those prayers coming. Boy, just looking here at the shells and still seeing lots of those little sand dollars, just piles of those little sand dollars down here. They're all over. All washed up, all killed by the red tide. There's quite a few of them. Usually they're brown. You can see all these little circles there. These are all sand dollars down there. Look at that. There's a little tiny baby lightning whelk. It's got a chip in it though, but that's a little baby lightning whelk. That's kind of cool. Good morning. morning. Yeah. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm Denny. I think Denny. Ray, Ray had introduced us. Oh, here yeah. yeah. Roy, yeah. 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 Roy. He, yeah. Uh, quite I a, haven't seen you the last couple of months. Quite a story with Roy. Yeah. He went out swimming with a cut on his leg and got flesh eating bacteria oh, yeah. about a month ago. And it just ate away at the inside of his leg. He's got a big hole in his leg. He's in therapy. Oh. Thankfully, they pumped them full of antibiotics and were able to control the infection. But um, he's having a real hard time walking right now. Well, I was kind of wondering. I've been gone about three weeks or so. Yep, that's what happened. They found him passed out at the beach here. And because of the red tide, oh, there was nobody here. And he's lucky that somebody was at the beach and found him up by the bench there, passed out. They said if they did, hadn't found him in another couple hours, he might have died because he was in septic shock. And that stuff just took over like that. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. Is he, is he in the hospital or is he at home? He's at a uh, skilled nursing facility yeah. up in North Naples here. Okay. Which one is that? It's yeah. called Solaris. And it's at the entrance to Imperial. Do you know? Oh, I've been. Right, on the, great, right before the I gate. I have a great uncle that I've been there a number yeah. of times. A great yeah. uncle he's, the more visitors, the, merry, the oh, merrier. He's, he's in room 161 right. at Solaris. Thank you. I'll get up That'd be great. He's he's getting lots of visitors, but that's that's what he needs. You know, that's yeah. better than the physical therapy, yeah, the I mental mind. therapy. Yeah. yeah. I will get up and All, right. All right. Take Thank it you. easy. Okay. Wow, that's nice. Roy was well loved out here at the beach. A lot of people missing him. Oh, is that the little whelk I just dropped on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, when I was talking to that gentleman. So if you're listening, you got a little more of the story about Ray. Ray Roy. <laughs> I don't know why I called him Ray. He called him Ray, so I called him Ray. <laughs> Old age. Boy, there's a lot of little shells way up here on this old high tide line. The high tide mark. Nice worm shell here, wow. There's a nice worm shell, look at that one. That is an awesome little worm shell. 
And then there's piles of these. I forget what these are, nutmegs or scotch bonnets, nutmegs, nutmeg shells. There's just piles of them all over the beach here this morning. And here's one of these crucifix. They call it a crucifix fish. It's the backbone of a catfish. Sadly, one that was washed up on the beach. That's all that's left of it. But if you look closely, use your imagination, you'll see a crucifix there. Can you see it? It's not hard to see that. So they call that a crucifix fish. Actually, there's quite a few of these on the beach now just because of the red tide. You usually don't find them that often. You know, this park here, this is a state park, Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. It's a Florida state park. One of our rangers out doing his morning beach patrol there, just heading back in, back to the office. But they don't do a whole lot to maintain the beach. We have several state parks that have beaches here. We have another really nice one just up in Estero, Lover's Key. But they just let Mother Nature take her course, run her course here. So it's not a manicured beach like you'll find down in Naples. You know, they have machines that clean those beaches and they're constantly, you know, raking and picking up, you know, when we have the red tide, picking up the dead fish. Here, Mother Nature just takes, runs her course. It's all natural. So there's a big difference between this beach and what you'll find a little bit further south of us here, down Vanderbilt and down by the Naples Pier. But you know, that's, it's all about money. You know, the city of Naples has a lot of money to keep their beaches clean. And unfortunately, Florida State Parks are struggling. Doesn't make sense, does it? One of our most precious resources and the state puts them at the bottom of the money chain. Thankfully, things are looking up here today at the beach. Just keeping our fingers crossed and praying that it continues to get better. There's no, we can't do anything about red tide. We have no control over that. It comes and goes on its own. Maybe someday they'll figure out a way to control it. That would be nice. I don't really know what it's, what the purpose of that red algae bloom is in the scheme of things. It doesn't seem like it has any positive effects. sandpipers down here with like little plovers. There's a little Florida fighting conch shell down here. A little baby one. There's a little cone shell, piece of a cone shell probably. That's an old, an old alphabet cone right there. What's left of an alphabet cone. What else? Still seeing lots of the little sand dollars down here. There's a couple of them, I'll just pick them up to show you newcomers lots and lots of these on the beach these were all victims of the red tide these little baby sand dollars let's 
see we got a little sunlight hitting the beach here walk down to the water take a close look at the water I'm telling you it's looking great this is the best I've seen it so far in the past month absolutely gorgeous First thing I saw when I walked up to the water this morning was a flounder swimming by. And then we saw we see on I saw an osprey fly by, we saw some brown pelicans fly by. All good signs of life returning to the waters here. All good signs. The red tide warning signs, again, have been turned off at the entrance to the park. They were not flashing. Yesterday, the park ranger said there was quite a few people out here enjoying the beach, swimming, having a good time. Just praying that that continues. Hopefully we're on the upswing. Still though, lots of signs, lots of signs of red tide lingering along the beach here. But still some decaying fish, nothing new or crabs what's left of a crab there's a little crucifix and remember i showed you that crucifix fish there's a little one right there like i said these weren't very common now they're all over the beach sad but if you want to add a crucifix fish to your collection i'm sure you'll find one here There's a turkey wing shell down there. People always get a kick out of seeing a turkey wing. When you see it, it's real obvious why they call it a turkey wing. And what do we got? Oh, a couple scallops. There's an old, that was a probably a gray scallop. It's almost faded now and white. There's another one, an orange scallop. This is nice out here this morning. Kind of getting back into the old beach walk groove here. Starting to see some interesting things once again and not having to deal with the red tide. We're talking about dead fish and staying out of the water. Just use your common sense though if you do go swimming. Don't go in the water with any open wounds. If you're gonna be Putting your face in the water, please protect your eyes, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Just use common sense. Little slipper shell. Lots of little slippers around here this morning. If you want little sand dollars, there's not a lot, they're not big, but I'm telling you, if you want to add some little sand dollars to your collection, there's Tons of them on the beach. There's a lot that are turning white now. But there's piles of these little sand dollars out here. I'm up in area four right now. It's like a little baby pear whelk. Little tiny baby pear whelk. That's cool. The pear whelk has the opening on the opposite side of the lightning whelk. That's how you tell the difference. 
Beautiful little conch shell down here. Little Florida fighting conch. Hopefully we'll start seeing some live conchs returning to the beach. There's the, a little sliver, a little piece of the shell from a leopard crab. Beautiful crabs, the leopard crabs, calico, leopard. I believe the official name's a calico crab, but people also refer to them as leopard crabs. It's, it's pretty easy to understand why with those spots like that. Starting to warm up a little bit. Started at 77 degrees this morning. So I'm sure it's the temperature's slowly coming up here. A little bit of a breeze. Could use a little more of a breeze out here. There's another fighting conch shell down here on the beach. Anybody living in Naples or if you live in Southwest Florida and you want to come visit our friend Roy, please, please do. Having friends come visit you is the best therapy there is. The best times to come see them are, I'd say, between 9 and 10.30 a.m. And then usually after about 1, 1.30 Anytime after 1.30, up till about 6 o'clock. We could actually use all the help we can right now. He needs some advocates. We need to make sure he eats. They don't feed him. They bring his meals, and he has to, he's on his own to feed himself, and he's having a hard time doing that, so it's always nice to have somebody there around meal times. Boy, huge slipper shells down here. Just lots and lots and lots of slipper shells everywhere. Look at all these, look at these three little slippers right here. See how when you turn them sideways, they look like a little shoe? Lots of little slipper shells. And I'm seeing some lots of worm tips too. I spotted one out here by the water while I was talking about Roy. Where'd it go? Over here. Another little worm shell. Those are so neat. For some reason, I think they're neat. <laughs> I found a little bigger one earlier. Hopefully I didn't break it in my pocket. They're very fragile. When I'm bending over, I'll find a nice one and I'll break it in my pocket. But there's two worm shells right there. Pretty cool, huh? Here's what's left of a... What was it? Looks like a pear whelk. Here's what's left of a pear whelk, a bigger pear whelk. We saw that little one earlier. Gorgeous out here this morning. I love it. I feel good about being out here. The past few weeks it was depressing coming out here. And then I saw a friend of ours yesterday posted that the red warning, the red tide warning signs were turned off at the park. So that's all I needed to hear to get my butt out here this morning. I had to come and see it. Seeing is believing. But I don't want to give anybody false expectations here. It doesn't mean the red tide can't just turn around and come right back up to our beaches here. But for right now, it looks great here. But just use common sense when swimming in the water. Because there's other things besides red tide out here, as we have learned from our friend Roy. Look at this water. Right now it just looks really nice and clean and clear. 
for that flesh-eating bacteria is lingering around there somewhere. And if you have a low immune system and an open wound, you're a prime candidate to get that flesh-eating bacteria. So keep that in mind. That means, does not mean stay out of the water. It just means use common sense when swimming in the water in the Gulf of Mexico. Most people, it never affects people, or most people. It's just when, like Roy, his immune system was down, he had that open sore, and it, that was an open door for that bacteria to get into his body. If you're gonna be putting your head underwater, cover your eyes, like I said earlier. Wear goggles. You better yet get one of those full, those new masks that they have, like our friend Fisherman Mike has. It covers your entire face, has a snorkel up on top of it. Those are great. That way you don't risk a chance of getting any in your mouth, your eyes, your nose. And they're fun. <laughs> they're fun to use. It's like a big window. It's like when you're swimming underwater, you're looking out a big window at all the fish and whatever else is out there. Well, lots of shells over here. The top of a, wow, can you imagine what that whelk looked like? That's the top of a lightning whelk. Can you imagine what that looked like? How big that was? That would have been an incredible shell to find. Look at the size of that. That's just the little piece of the top. Wow. many neat little things around here all kinds of little colorful shells little treasures just waiting to be found I'm curious if all those blue crabs are up here that we saw was it Monday when I was out here I don't know when the last time I was out here Monday or Tuesday it's been a few days I miss my beach Nice little scallop shell right down there. See it right down there. Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. A natural beach. This is actually a barrier island. You hear the birds chirping out there on the island on the sandbar. We'll get closer to them. We're up in area four right now. Let's see here. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for some interesting shells as I walk along the beach here. been a while since I was able to do some shelling. The birds and an airplane. <laughs> a man-made bird.
Boy, there's another piece of a big, looks like maybe a whelk out here in the water. Wow. Look at that. People call these twisties. They refer to these as a twisty. That was a big whelk at one time. There's another one down here on the ground. Pretty nice pear whelk. Pretty nice size pear whelk. I'm gonna rinse that off. That's a keeper. It's a little jagged along the edge, but that's a pretty nice pear whelk right there. Again, see, it has the opening on the opposite side of a lightning whelk, the pear whelk. Rinse that off here. Look at all the little fish. I don't know if you can see them. The water is just teeming with little tiny minnows. Teeming. Another, another awesome sign. Can you see them all down there? I wish they'd come out into the sun. Let me rinse this shell off. I'm gonna coax them over into the sunlight. My beautiful pear whelk, nice pear whelk. They're just washing up in the waves here on the beach. They're all over. Can you see them down there? That's all little fry, little babies. They're swimming away from me. Every time I get them in this, the screen, see them all down there? Look at them all. What a wonderful sign, more life. And these are hatchlings. These have just recently hatched. Look at them all. Fisherman Mike, look at them all out here. He'd be happy to know they're here. Wow. Good morning. Well, life is definitely returning to the beach here. It doesn't take long. It does not take long. And I mean, there was millions, millions of fish killed, still dying to the north of us. But it's so nice to see life returning. Oh, here's what's left of a old crown conch shell. An old crown conch. Beautiful shells, the crown conchs. Here is a big, I believe this is a Scotch bonnet. That's a big one. That is a big, I'm pretty sure that's a Scotch bonnet. That's a big one. Wow. For this beach. That is a nice little Scotch bonnet. Oh, I hate seeing this. The Rangers don't do it on purpose. But let's see. No, nope, it's in good shape. Another pear whelk. It was right in the middle of the tracks. The Rangers wheels pushed it right flat down in the sand without breaking it. That's kind of amazing. Kind of amazing. Another nice little pear whelk. I'm gonna rinse it off. Oop, and there's more of those little fish. See them all swimming around there? Another nice little pear whelk. Good morning. Great little find. I got two of those this morning. Two pear whelks. Found the two pear whelks, an old cone shell so far, an old alphabet bet cone, and a couple nice little uh, worm shells. Duh. <laughs> Lots of worm rock out here too this morning. I haven't picked a piece up and shown it yet. Lots of worm rock out here. another there's a piece of a worm shell right there just a piece of one a 
There's an old lightning whelk shell over here. What's left of a lightning whelk. We find lots of these old whelks on the beach, all different sizes. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Saturday morning out here. So nice to be out here <sighs> where you take nice deep breath of clean air. Oh, haven't been able to do that lately. Nice little cockle shell. Beautiful little cockle shell. Of course, we got our kitten's paws. I haven't shown you one of those yet this morning. I always pick them up. The old kitten paw shells. There's one there. That's a big one. Big kitten paw. Something over there. Be sure nobody's coming up behind me. I see a nice shell over here to my left. I think I see a nice shell over here to my left. Looks like a whelk. Yeah, it's a piece of a whelk. It's missing the bottom of it. That's pretty old. Yep, it's an old lightning whelk. I see quite a few of them around here. Not whole ones though, just pieces like this. There's another one up there, it's got some nice color on it. I'll grab that and show it to you. Listen to the birds, can you hear them chirping? Here you can see some of the colors of the lightning whelk. On this one here, what's left of this one, it's missing the bottom. There's a piece of a moon shell, a little shark eye. I'll flip it over. Oh no, it's the top of a con or top of a whelk. Huh, that was the top of a moon shell. Wow, that would have been a gorgeous find right here. What's left of a beautiful crown conch. Missing the top. Wow, one of my favorites, the crowns. The crowns, the tulips, the moon shells, the whelks. Those are some of my favorite shells. I haven't seen a tulip shell out here yet this morning. Lace murex are pretty neat too. The murex shells. There's a piece of an alphabet cone. Just the tip. Nice color. The very top of an alphabet cone. gorgeous out here. I can't say it enough. A welcome change to what our beach has been like over the past month. Absolutely beautiful. tide is pretty low and low tide isn't till noon today. Anything 
down here. So maybe there's a little olive shell down there peeking up at me. A little olive shell. Still seeing the remnants of dead fish along here, especially out here on the sandbar. The birds really don't eat them. These are royal terns out here and some gulls, seagulls. Quite a few fighting conks out here. Quite a few of them. There's one right down in here. And over here to the right, that's where our friend Roy would normally be sitting. Up there under those pine trees up there. Up by his recently passed wife, Audrey's bench up there. Not recently, it's been several years now since she passed away, but it feels like she's still here with us. shells out here. Look at that. Look at the colors on that whelk. What's left of that whelk. Absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to find one that size. Someday. Someday. Persistence. Hopefully persistence will pay off. So many broken shells down here. Broken whelks. Here's a moon shell. It's upside down. Yeah. Shark eye. There's a nice little shark eye. Always nice to pick up a shark eye and add that to my collection. See lots of broken whelks. Another one, beautiful colors. Almost, almost a whelk, almost a whole whelk, but not quite. But like I said, there was a lot of whelks out here. But unfortunately, they're all broken. <laughs> what we got over here? A little moon, a little piece of a moon shell. Another broken whelk over here. An old worn out broken whelk. Little baby lightning whelk. There you go, there's a little baby. I always find the little babies. I don't find the big ones. <laughs> the big daddy-os, the big daddies. 
a little baby whelk. Lots of little fighting conks out here too on this sandbar. There's a little baby fighting conch right there. Lots of little scallop shells. Lots of little pieces of worm rock out here. All kinds of little chunks of worm rock. That stuff's pretty neat looking when you look at it close. See all the little worm tubes in there. Maybe there'll be some nicer stuff as the tide goes out here, out in the water. It's gorgeous though. As we look around here, I'll give you a nice look around. The sun's well up over the trees now. As we look down to the south. into the Gulf. Fairly flat out there this morning. feeling the beach is gonna get busy today. Of course, we're gonna have our afternoon rains as usual here in Naples and Southwest Florida. But a beautiful morning. Nice little breeze right now. stuff so far. Quite a few little interesting shells, little bits and pieces. Found a couple nice ones to add to my collection. We've seen some fish swimming around in the water. Saw a little flounder go by when I first walked out to the water this morning. A little flounder swim by, that was cool. We're seeing the pelicans. We saw some pelicans fly by, that was a good sign. That means there's fish out there somewhere. And of course we've seen an osprey. We saw an osprey fly by. We might see him later on the way back. All those little baby minnows, those little tiny fries. That's a good sign that they're hatching. I'll take it. Any signs of life here in the water, I'll take it. Good news, good news, good news for all. Actually, we've got people starting to return to the beach. Yesterday, the ranger said there was quite a few people out swimming. And that's wonderful news. Absolutely wonderful news. Gosh, there's a pile of shells here. I gotta go backtrack a little bit. I don't want to miss anything. There's an old banded tulip shell down here. What's left of an old banded tulip? Not much of it. There's a 
another piece of a whelk. Boy, we saw a lot of broken whelk shells out here. A lot of them. There's another one down here. A couple of them. It's kind of an interesting one there on the left. Two lightning whelks, pieces of lightning whelks. Somebody's gonna actually set set up out here on the sandbar with their chairs. <laughs> I never seen that before. Well, looks like a little piece of an old crown conch down here. That's left of a little crown. Make my way back around the sandbar here and back over to the beach and walk up a little further north. morning. This water, there's this big, like, I don't know what you want to call it. It's like a little tidal pool or something. The water gets trapped in here at low tide. And it really stinks. <laughs> it really starts to smell. The water does not circulate very well in this little area here. You can see it all kind of sitting here up at the north end of area four. Just looking for a nice little place to cross back over to the beach. may walk up to the pass. We'll see how far we get this morning. So peaceful out here. Huge difference in our population, summertime versus the winter time. In the winter time, you can't even find a parking spot to get to most of our beaches. If you don't get to the beach by 10 o'clock, you're not gonna find parking down here in the winter. Lots of, lots of seasonal residents. And part of a moon shell, half of a, the side of a moon shell. Huh. Oh, here's Roy's haunting grounds right here. Right here in area four is where we'd find Roy and have our chats with Roy.
please, please, please keep Roy in your prayers. He is on the mend, but he's got a long way to go. Broken moon shell down here. Yep, part of a moon shell. Yeah, I'm trying to remember how long I've been doing these beach walks. It's got to be coming up close to three years. Pretty sure I've gone through three sea turtle nesting periods. That's how I met Roy. Just walking the beach. I started out doing live video feeds of our sunsets. I just put the camera on a tripod and let it sit there during sunset and I got a great response and why I don't do that anymore I don't know I should do it some more but one evening I was thinking I should come out in the morning everybody's seen the beach at night I should come out in the morning and show it to them so I started doing that I didn't know anything about the shells or any of the marine life out here started questioning people and learning about what's out here and as I started learning I started sharing my knowledge with people I'm still learning believe me but as I was walking along the beach one morning I was talking with one of the park rangers I always thought it was so neat the way they would check a sea turtle nest after they had a crawl on the beach they'd actually kind of dig around probe around in the nest and un just verify that the eggs, that there were eggs in the nest. So I'd talk to this one ranger who's gone now, Carl, and he'd tell me, he'd talk, he'd talk about sea turtles and teach me the facts about sea turtles. And lo and behold, Roy walked up while we were doing it one morning, started talking to him and that was it. From then on, every morning I'd see him, I'd talk to him a little more and he was fascinated with the whole Facebook thing. He just couldn't fathom that we were actually live talking to people on the beach, potentially all from all over the world, all around the world. He started loosening up and telling me stories, then jokes, then playing his harmonica. We developed quite a friendship. Back then I might've had maybe a thousand followers on my page here. And it just expanded from there. And Roy became a part of my beach walks. I miss him tremendously right now. Hopefully he's going to be back out here on the beach one of these days. He has vowed never to go back in the water. I can't blame him. Very hard for Roy to say that. He has vowed not to go in the water. He'll come back to the beach, but no more plunges. He says he's going to do his swimming in his pool at home. But look at that. Gorgeous out here. Man, the water is nice and clear. It smells good out here. The red tide has moved offshore. I hope, I assume it moved offshore. I don't know if it dissipates, if it breaks up. But it is really, really nice out here right now. The red tide warning signs are turned off at the entrance to the park. However, they still have the warning flag. The purple warning flag is up because we got stingrays out here now. I haven't seen any. I'm pretty sure the red tide kind of either killed them or ran them off. But normally in the summertime, we have a lot of stingrays 
just offshore here, just in the knee deep water. You gotta be really careful. I've got video of the stingrays. I got some neat videos. You need to go back and check out all of my videos. Just search for dolphins, stingrays, all kinds of neat things. We even found one day, we found a little octopus here. A little tiny baby octopus was inside of a conch shell. Stung the crud out of Roy. <laughs> It's amazing how many different species of marine life are just offshore of the beach here. It's absolutely incredible. And we've seen a lot of it during my beach walks over the years. We've seen some pretty interesting creatures. Of course, those dolphins are everyone's favorite. And we haven't seen them lately because of the red tide. Hopefully they'll be returning here now that the water is clearing can only hope but it's so nice to see people out here at the beach Ugh. it was desolate here for the longest time Ugh. there's actually a little fish swimming around in this little tide pool here a little baby catfish I don't know if you can see it swimming around down there. Eating all over the place. Walk up here a little further north. Found a couple nice shells this morning, a couple nice little pear whelks. That was nice. Relatively close to one another too. That was pretty interesting. Pear whelks, they're similar to lightning whelks. Except they have their the openings on the other side and they're more of a rounded shell, whereas the Lightning whelks are more pointed. Nice little pear whelk. Found a couple of those this morning. One little moon shell this morning. A couple nice little worm tips. We've seen a lot, a lot, and a lot of broken lightning welts on the beach, a lot of them. I'm not seeing all those crabs. Last Monday or Tuesday, whenever I was out here last, we saw tons of blue crabs up in this area. Tons of them. Wonder if they're still up here. I don't see them. There's a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. And within that mile, there's some pretty interesting things. Oh boy, more of these little bait fish. I don't know if you can see them all down here. See them all swimming around? These, these are little hatchlings, little fry. That's a really good sign though. Can you see them all swimming around out there, down there? Right in the shadows here. You should be able to see them though. It's like a little dark cloud swimming along. 
lots and lots and lots of them. It is so good, so good to see life out here, returning to these waters. All this, everything we're looking at here in the water, see these are old tree roots and stumps. Oh, about prior to Hurricane Irma, last September, these were all buried under, oh, probably three feet of sand at least. This was all beautiful beach out here, all out here, way out, way out it went. And Hurricane Irma washed it away. You can see over here on the right how high the beach used to be, look at that. So imagine that just tapering off slowly, 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 went way out there. This was a beautiful piece of beach up here in Area 5 and now it's all gone. But what's interesting is, imagine that there used to be land out here as evidenced by the tree roots and tree stumps out here. Back, it wasn't land when I was here. I've never saw it, seen it, but way back when, who knows when. So many little fish out here, all over. in there or not. We're just kind of swimming along the shore. All along here, all along are those little fish. Those little fry, they call the little baby fish fry. <laughs> Someday they'll grow up and be a fish fry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everywhere I look. You see him swimming by? You have to look close. You might be able to zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, my screen's not, my fingers must be wet or something. It's all swimming north. Pretty neat. Still no signs of those blue crabs that we saw earlier earlier this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. The tide is on its way out. If I've read the tide chart right, it's low tides at 12, 12, 12 today. It seems like it's really low right now. We'll go up and see if there's anybody fishing up at Wiggins Pass. morning.
a little photo shoot going on here. Well, it's pretty quiet up here. Not a whole lot of shells. Got our shell trees. A few shells here. We've hung a few shells for our friend Roy. I don't see any. Maybe I'll pick a shell up here. Maybe I'll get lucky. I'll find a nice shell here. We'll hang another shell for Roy. This is the north end of the park here. Not a lot of shells on the beach here. These are all the trees that got knocked down during the hurricane. Almost a year ago. September 13th is when Irma came through here and did her thing last year. Beautiful though. We look out into the water. Are things returning to normal? I hope so. Let's see it. Neat little fish swimming around out here. He's hiding under a piece of coral right now. Can you see him swimming around that piece? He just went in. That. Almost looks like a fish, not a piece of coral. You can see that little fish swimming around. Where's that piece of coral? There's the coral. There he goes. Where'd he go? Ah, I lost him. Oh, what kind of fish that was? It was kind of neat. Come on. Get out of the zoom mode. We just swam out into a little, little deeper water. There's another one. I don't know what they are. Little, they're going under the shells. He's hiding, taking, he's underneath that shell. There's a little fish just swam under that shell. His head's just peeking out. See if I can stir him up here. There he is. I don't know what kind of fish that is. Pretty cool though. There's a couple of them swimming around up there. A lot of little fish swimming around up here. Oh yeah. Lots of little fish out here in the water. Awesome, awesome, awesome news. I don't see any fishermen up here, though. And the beach is pretty void of shells up here. This is Wiggins Pass. This is the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park.
Wow, not many shells up here at all this morning. Beautiful up here though. The tide is definitely going out. I can see in the pass. I can see the current up in Wiggins Pass. broken lightning whelk up here. That's what we've been seeing. We've been seeing some nice sized lightning whelks, but they've all been broken. What a shame. No fishermen up here. I have seen some boats heading out though. That's a good sign. And there's actually people at Barefoot Beach. Looks like people out in the water even, way down to the up to the north. Barefoot Beach. Folks are finally returning to the water. Great news to the beaches and into the water. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't know if you can see the people way, way up there towards the condos. That's looking up Barefoot Beach across Wiggins Pass to the north. At Barefoot Beach, you can see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach, all those condos. Pretty neat. Nice morning out here, that's for sure. up here. There goes some fishermen heading out. Heading out into the Gulf. So we'll go back, make it back in before the afternoon rains kick in. That tide's just moving them right along. They're moving pretty fast there in the current. Let's see how fast that water's moving out there. Look at it. It is going out fast now. We're gonna have a pretty low, low tide again today, it seems. Not the prettiest water here when the tide's going out. Getting all the runoff from the inland waterways there. Not the prettiest sight. I'll turn around and start walking back. I hope you Enjoy tagging along for these beach walks. We never know what we're gonna find, who we're gonna see. I got a, picked up a nice little cockle shell here this morning with a little tiny hole. 
Let's see if we can find a branch on the tree to hang this for Roy. We'll say a little prayer for him in a few minutes. If you enjoy these beach walks and if you learn anything, that's really great. If I'm able to teach you something about anything that we have here, our shells or any of the marine life that I do know about. And you, if you want to make a little contribution, it always helps out. I love doing this. Just like everybody else, I got bills to pay and every little con every little dime that comes in helps. And some people have been really generous and I appreciate that. But you can find my PayPal account information a little later in the description of this post. first morning I've been able to come out here and actually enjoy the beach in almost a month. Absolutely gorgeous out here. Of course the big news is the red tide has moved off the beach, away from our beach here. Look at that water. Still not perfect, but it's getting there. Getting close. A little on the green side, but not too bad. There's a cockle shell down here. There is a little flounder underneath the cockle shell. Ah. There's a nice little cockle shell, an old cockle shell. What's left of a cockle? Beautiful shell is the cockle. There's a little flounder under it when I picked it up. Little tiny baby flounder. Nice shell there. Obviously that means, you know, we have live cockles offshore here, buried out in the sand. That's a nice little cockle shell. I'll leave that up here for some beach walker. Some lucky beach walker gets a whole cockle shell. Tons. Tons of little baby fry, little fish fry swimming along here, little bait fish. Kind of hard to see here. The water's kind of dark, I don't know. They're all up and down the beach, all up and down the beach. But seeing all these little fish is a wonderful, wonderful sign. This beach was dead earlier this week, just dead. picture here real fast looking north up the beach I'm back sorry about that little interruption Ooh, a bigger cockle shell Rinse that one off. A bigger shell. I found a little cockle shell to hang for Roy, but now I found a bigger one. Nice. Rinse it off here. Perfect shell for the shell tree right there.
Here's a great little place to hang some shells for Roy. Let's see if we can find a nice branch here in the open. Something, let's see here. Got this beautiful cockle. I don't want to hang it. So it's kind of overlooking the water here somewhere. Even though he's vowed never to go back in the water. <laughs> Is a, there's lots of good little branches here, but I want one that looks like it's not going to break off here. This is actually a good spot right up here. Right up in here. That's a good one right there. So there you go. That's for our friend Roy. I'll give everybody a minute here. Let's, if you want to say a little prayer for Roy, I'll give you a moment of silence here. Amen. Well, let's hope Roy felt those prayers. Beautiful shell there. Gorgeous. I'm going to take a picture of that. That's gorgeous. Hang on a minute. I'm back here. Sorry about that. I hope I got a picture of it. I cannot see the screen here. The glare, the sun is reflecting right off the screen when I was looking at that shell. <clears throat> We're up in Area 5. We started down in Area 2, at the north end of Area 2 on the boardwalk down there. Had a nice little walk north up the beach. Found some neat little shells. We've actually seen some fish swimming out in the water. The water is definitely starting to clear up. People are returning to the beach, returning to the water. Oh, good news. If you do go in the water, please use some common sense, some simple precautions. If you're gonna put your face in the water, please protect your eyes, keep your mouth shut. Wear some goggles. Even better, get one of those new swim masks. Those new masks they make that cover your entire face that have the snorkel up on the top. Those things are great. Those are really fun. They give you a great view underwater and they protect your face. Obviously, don't go in the water with any open wounds. And always shower off when you get out of the water. I grew up in Florida and those were just rules that I took for granted. I assume everybody knows that, but apparently a lot of people don't know that. The Gulf of Mexico is a lot different than the Atlantic Ocean over on the other side of Florida. The water is a lot warmer, especially in the summertime. All kinds of little bacteria can grow out there in the Gulf of Mexico. So just be sure you rinse off after you go in the water. And it doesn't hurt to use some soap, bring some biodegradable soap with you. Soap like you, you could find in a marine supply store or whatever. The same as they use on boats in the showers on the boats.
still quiet here at the beach for a Saturday morning, but it's not desolate. There are some people out here, which is a great sign. Earlier this week, I was out here, I was by myself. And of course it is summertime. It's always quieter here on the summer, but this is a holiday weekend. And you would expect to see this beach just packed with people. And as you can see, there's not a lot of people out here. Everybody's still leery. And it's better to be cautious than careless, that's for sure. But look at the water. Definitely looking a lot nicer out here. Way nicer. Gorgeous. while since I've been wading out here. Just gorgeous though. That's definitely worth a photo, don't you think? I think that's worth a photo. Just bear with me here, I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Look at that water. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sad here. We're still seeing some dead crabs on the beach. And sadly, I'm sure the reason the crabs are dying is because they're eating the dead fish that are on the bottom out there in the Gulf that died, that got infected with the red tide. You know, the crabs are like scavengers. Not like scavengers, they are scavengers. Hey, if you're going out to parties this weekend, please be safe, do the right thing. Get a designated driver, call for an Uber, a Lyft. Be responsible if you're gonna be out drinking. Got our little birds out here on the sandbar as I walk south. <laughs> Look at them all, huh? Wow. Quite a sight. I should take another picture. Something spooked all the birds away. It wasn't me. I didn't do a thing. I was just standing here. Well, coming back. Absolutely beautiful. 
beautiful, beautiful sights and sounds. There's an old worn out cone shell down here. A really old cone shell. Looks like a little Murex shell next to it. Old Murex. An old whelk shell down here. An old, old lightning whelk. Oh, very cool. A little baby moon shell. That's a nice one, a little baby shark eye. Another Murex shell up here. Oh, it's got a hole in it. What's left of a Murex? There's a bigger Murex, an old, big old Murex there, big old worn Murex shell. Huh. A few little murex shells up there. That's kind of neat. Probably some neat stuff right out here in the water, too. Hard to see with the reflections. Just gorgeous out here, loving it. Love this place, beautiful Saturday morning. As you look back up the beach, back to the north. It's breathtaking, isn't it? Definitely got some people showing up to the beach. Not as many as normal for a holiday weekend. Normally this beach would be packed today. But that recent bout with red tide is keeping a lot of people away. Absolutely gorgeous. I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Please, please, please take the time to check out my photos and videos. Search through the videos. Search for dolphins. Neat things. There's some neat stingrays we've seen. Neat fish. Sharks. We've even seen little sharks out here. Lots of great stuff to look at. When you find something you like, be sure to hit the like and share button too. Again, remember, nobody pays me to be out here. I love doing this. I enjoy 
sharing what little knowledge of the beach I have with our friends here. But if you want to make a little contribution, it is always appreciated. Oh, by the way, these are a lot of turns. These are a lot of royal turns right here in front of me. Seagulls and royal turns. But if you would like to make a little contribution, at the conclusion of this live feed, you'll see my PayPal account information in the description of this post. And every little bit helps. So thank you. Well, for Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. Have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday, wherever you might be watching from, and God bless.